Yaate. Uh, I am from the Navajo Nation, and I'd like to introduce myself in my, uh, uh, my language first, uh, because that's the basis of our, um, the, the Navajo women at that, at that, that's our base, what is um, uh, our relations with the Mother Earth, Father Sky, Mother Water. So at this time, I'd like to introduce myself. Sheya me peshla kayin shia. Hatnes zahnin shlon bi petwadni bashish chin ashin dashe che se deshkizin dashe nale e kot a e zahnin shle. Yeah, I'm a, my name is May peshla kay. I'm of the Tango people fan, uh, clan. I'm born for the uh, bitter uh, deer water clan. My paternal grandfather, my paternal grandfather, the Rock Gap people and maternal, the South clan. So this is our, uh, uh, the way we introduce ourselves to whenever we meet uh, Navajo people. So we establish a relationship there with this uh, introduction that I uh, said in uh, my la language. So as you know, we have um, three generations of, uh, of us here today to, pr to do our presentation. And I'm the, uh, this is my mother, Dorothy Walker, she's Tango people. And then my granddaughter, she's the uh, Tango people. So everything is through the female, the female at the Navajo people. This is how uh, our, we, that's our basis of, 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 it, of our living. So um, this is, uh, we supposed to have four generations, but my, my daughter isn't here. Uh, she had just gotten a new job, uh, and they won't let her come along. So I brought my mother, I, and my granddaughter. So this is uh, how we introduce ourselves. And uh, I'd like to start by uh, saying that uh, uh, I, I should really let my mother uh, go first, but um, since she cannot uh, speak or understand English, I decided to uh, do this uh, myself. And, uh, but later on, my sister will do um, uh, her uh, translation in Navajo. She'll be uh, in, in English. So um, at first, I'd like to say that um, thanks for letting us uh, come here and present to you guys. And, um, and uh, because we are uh, uh, misunderstood in a lot of ways, and uh, I, I uh, for allowing Pat to bring us out here and um, try to uh, set you guys straight. <laughs> and that is not even a debt in uh, a lot of the uh, misinformation uh, and, uh, that we have uh, from our reservation. And the Navajo people, uh, the females, we uh, uh, are, uh, we, uh, uh, the females have more power in, in the Navajo because through us, we uh, passed down our clan, and with our clan system, we have um, uh, we we do our inheritance, our ceremonial ways. We select our Navajo medicine man through our clan system, and uh, so this is how we we are in the Navajo. And I would just like to uh, uh, give a, a little uh, about myself. And I started school, uh, my uh, former education, in uh, til a little place called Tilani Lake in 1956. And that's where it started. Um, and uh, so at that time, I did not speak one word of English, not even a yes or no. And so we were placed there. We were dropped off. And my, uh, at that time, uh, my grandfather didn't want us to go to school. And my grandfather uh, on my uh, father's side, my uh, paternal grandfather, didn't want us to go to school. But it was required that every Navajo youth at the age of six had to go to school. But I was held back until I was almost uh, nine years old when I went to school. So I was always that much behind in my, uh, my, uh, my education. But at that time, when we were first dropped off, uh, we uh, we're in the BIA school, which stands for Bureau of Indian Affairs, 
and uh, we were dragged out of our home and driven down to the nearest boarding school, got dropped off, and I had long hair at that time. We both did, my sister and I. And when we started there, the first thing they did was uh, strip of our clothes, what we, we were wearing. And then they um, dragged us into the uh, shower rooms and uh, uh, cleaned us out cleaned us off. I don't know if we were just really um, dirty or what, but anyway, that's what they did with us. And uh, put us in a big shower stall and then uh, chopped off our hair, you know, shaved it in the back and de us. I don't know whether we had it or not, but the, uh, that's what they did at the time. And then uh, with that, they told us, you know, this is, this is, your, um, this is the school that you're going to attend. And uh, we did have interpreters because a lot of the kids there at the time didn't speak English or uh, understood English. So at the time they said, well, from here on, you are required to uh, speak only English. And uh, so we, we couldn't talk. And you, we were silent just like you guys are right now. And there was about maybe 200 kids and uh, we couldn't talk. And uh, if we did speak, then they started um, uh, washing our mouth out with soap and uh, then uh, being punished at that time. And so that's where our, our education began. And, and uh, then we were put in um, different, um, uh, every single one of the kids uh, were put in uh, different uh, religious um, order or whatever, whatever you call it. Uh, I first became a Presbyterian. And for each year that I ever went back, I was a different, uh, put in different, uh, this year you look like you belong to the uh, uh, Protestant or the Catholic, so on and so forth. But um, every single one of those uh, churches uh, were connected with my uh, traditional beliefs. There's no separation there. We all pray as I understand right now today, we all pray to the one great spirit. So uh, that's what I learned. And I stuck with my tradition in this way, my culture, and I held on to my language. But um, that, that's where my education began. But as for the Navajos, uh, you know, like I said, we're a metrilinear group of people. And uh, uh, we, uh, we give our uh, clan to to all our kids, and they stay with it through life. You cannot be excommunicated from uh, uh, this uh, clan. You can say, I want to be uh, uh, of, of the uh, Red House clan. You can't be. But uh, every single one of these ladies back here are uh, Tango people. And um, they're, they're, uh, my mother is married to a bitter water. I'm married to a Red House clan, and my sister is married to an uh, uh, Edgewater. So we have no relations, and these kids are uh, uh, bloodline pure, that we don't intermarry. But today, it's different for us on the reservation, because every single one of our kids are uh, being uh, educated the Western way, and uh, every one of our kids know they have rights. So this is what is a really... Um, uh, uh, not putting pure blood back into our Navajo way of life. And a lot of kids uh, kind of refuse or uh, don't want to speak Navajo anymore. And uh, they're free to speak their language, but for some strange reason, they don't want to speak uh, their language. So this is how it is with us in the Navajo. And uh, uh, so... At this time, uh, this I don't know how mi how many minutes that we're supposed to speak. I, uh, once you start talking, <laughs> it seems like time just seems to roll. Uh, so, um, just wave me if I get out of hand. <laughs> so anyway, um, a lot of the uh, things that we um, we do, we it's carried on from from grandmother to to from grandmother to us, and then we become grandmothers. 